There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle, was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of Fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Fred and George have something to show you. Follow me. Follow me, Harry. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Botts Every Flavour Bean. 
collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. That's Peeves the Poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. Young Cotton, you're ugly, but what can we do? Oh, I'm Peeves, Potter. <laughs> you're getting the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie Bot's every flavour beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. He's the one with the wizard card. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. <laughs> Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me.
I am P Professor Quirrell. T Today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. Watch my wand. Then hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. Release the button when you're done. Mr. P Potter. Five points for G Gryffindor. T -t -t Try working faster this time, Mr. P Potter. Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. T -t -t Try again, Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Fifteen points for G Gryffindor. T -t -t Try working faster this time, Mr. P Potter. Mr. Potter. Twenty points for G G Gryffindor. <laughs> Splendid! You may now enter the Flipendo Challenge to p practice the spell. <laughs> Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. On the mouse button to aim the flipendo spell. Release the b -b button to cast the spell. T -t -t Try it on that b -b barrel. Flipendo! Cast your flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter.
Go on and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you further on. Potter, I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point, if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye! Cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way.
This is a no, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards. Knock him on his p p backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be c quite a nuisance. Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. Twenty p points for G Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to broomstick p practice. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch.